post-graduation career out and careers. The really important thing for students right now is you're going to have lots of careers. You know, in my day, people had one or two careers. Now you're going to have multiple careers. So thinking about that early on is a good idea. Um, so I'll give you an idea of what Career Coach does. Um, Career Coach asks you a series of questions. You can do the quick version, quick six questions. You can do the kind of quick version, 10 questions, or you can do the more in-depth version, which is 60 questions. They're very easy questions. They ask you, pick one of, which is your favorite of these three? And they, they do a kind of a, a quick assessment. So even the 60 question doesn't take you very long. So um, that 60 question, uh, whichever one you pick, will come back and suggest um, potential careers that may be aligned with people who answer that assessment in the same way you did. And further, we've integrated that tool into the Austin P academic program so that it not only connects you to um, suggestions for what you might want to think about after you leave Austin P, but it connects you to the different academic programs that you might consider if you had interest in, in those areas. So majors, minors, combinations thereof. Um, so it's kind of a fun tool that we have um, implemented. It, it came to us as a result of a grant that we applied for. And so our first year students, our professional advisors are suggesting to our first year students that even if they know their major, that they use this tool to validate that that major is appropriate for them and know what their opportunities are post-graduation. What does that look like for the uh, upperclassmen? So upperclassmen can use it as well. Mm -hmm. So you all might want to get out on that tool and see what, what it tells you. Okay. Um, and and you, you, it may inform you on maybe a minor or a certificate or something you might want to add to your communications program or perhaps um, a high impact practice, which is kind of higher education lingo for for um, experiences outside of the classroom you might want to consider in an internship or maybe an undergraduate research project or some types of, of hands-on project you might want to try out um, while you're here at the university that leans in that direction. So I encourage everybody to use it. I, I did it. Um, it told me I needed to be um, a mathematician and an engineer. Um, I am a mathematician, so <laughs> um, that's my academic background before I moved into um, administration at the uh, institution. So it, it was pretty accurate for me. Um, so I would encourage you just as a, a something for fun to do, go in and see what it says. So we do have our freshmen look at these different types of tools. Our professional advisors um, do more than simply hand someone a list of classes and say this is what you need to register for. Our professional advisors are um, specifically trained in appreciative advising so that they can help students um, in an inquiry way, ask them different interests and help them consider different majors. So your professional advisors as freshmen are not just there to drive you to a list of classes. They're really there to get to know the students. Um, and we've married that with some success coaches in the last couple of years for our freshmen. Mm -hmm. And our success coaches um, help freshmen navigate complicated systems because everything at the university is a complicated system <laughs> that we all have to learn. Mm -hmm. Whether it's how to log into one stop or how do I file my FAFSA. Mm -hmm. So as a first year student, all of these things, these systems that we have to engage with to get to the our end goal are very complicated so we brought in some folks that really can help um, freshmen with that process so that's kind of what happens in the freshman realm um, when you move into uh, a sophomore at the institution for advising purposes you move to your faculty advisor advisor and that's really exciting because then you get to start meeting with a faculty member in your degree program of interest and you get to know them on at a different level um, you get to learn about their research agendas or, or their particular interest, and that might pique some of your interests as well. So that's when you'll start talking about how to customize your degree, how to make that, that degree program really part of you, and your faculty are experts in that. So your freshman and, uh, excuse me, your sophomore and your junior years, you really are focused on engaging in your discipline. Um, 
One thing that we miss a little bit as, as sophomores and juniors, we are technically advised by an advisor in our major. But a lot of you have minors and you're not required to